Maramutse. Good morning. Hello, my name is Anna. Anna. Uh, I have been in Rwanda for 10 months. And I'm in mean only uh, left with a month before I go back. As I thought that time to say goodbye is coming soon. I suddenly see familiar things in a new view and became very precious. And I'm very thankful to give my testimony in here. Uh, I was born in church. And I attended both Lincoln Middle School and High School. Uh, also, I continued to participate in IYF activities during a first grade of university. If I say that I live in I live in these kinds of life in the church. Many people, uh, people may think that uh, people may think that I live. Uh, I know exactly about God, and like I lived in peace. But in reality, I was. I was not free before God. Although I received a lot of grace in the church, but my heart was full of doubts about God. Although I got along with, well with many people and loved, was loved by many people, I was concerned about what others thought of me. Because I was afraid of being blamed to coming back to me whenever I made a mistake. That's why even when I lived in Rwanda, I always try to do well, but I continually made mistakes. I made mistakes uh, starting from the small things, like breaking dishes in the kitchen. So my fear of making mistakes Oh, makes mistakes grew. And I couldn't be freed in front of someone and pastor or even many people. However, controlling what I thought, someone didn't make issues with my behavior. But instead, she gave me direction on how to think after make mistake. I fell into condemnation whenever I was rebuked. But Pastor Ko told me that your weakness is not not problem at all. And he guided me to come, come toward before God with my weakness and completely bring my problem toward God. Even now, I have many shortcomings. But I was also I was able to become free from my weakness by living under the guidance of of God servant. Uh, not only this, 
I also hated burdensome works and and I always avoid when I have burden. Also, like talking my feeling in front of many people, like, the, like this, but I'm trying to overcome. Uh, but God wanted to me over uh, face this burdens burdened and overcome. But first time I didn't understand. A, this because Samaniko always told me I had to dwell uh, to God but I didn't know how to do it and I had fe many fellowship with her so I kept asking to God God really want God, do you want really this kind of situation? What do you want to give to me? Uh, when I kept this kinds of question to God and talked with God, God gave me uh, answer to me through Bible and many people. So I came to understand exactly about the existence of God and was able to sense Him in my heart. And I was able to discover that my faith is wrong. For me, the sermon was boring it was my sleep time but uh, now it, it is very sweet time uh, even I don't want to miss so I can't say much about this because of time but I had to be available experience of discovering myself through all the people I met here. I'm nothing but many people want to give me even half mandazi and take care of me. So I'm so grateful to Randa for showing me that what the true happiness is. Living as a GNC in Rwanda seems to be a special opportunity that only the blessed can enjoy. We are going to Uganda after two days. To have an event will be uh, hold held on January 1st. Then I will come back here after two weeks and we will spend one week in Kigali and we will go back to Korea on January 16th. So please pray for us as we stay in Uganda. I'm very thankful in here. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas.